What are you saying I have? It's called ventricular tachycardia. It's a heart rhythm disorder caused by abnormal electrical signals in the lower chambers of the heart. I don't know what any of that means. A healthy heart beats 60 to 100 times per minute. With ventricular tachycardia, the heart beats faster than normal, usually about 100 or more beats a minute. The abnormal heartbeats can prevent the heart chambers from properly filling with blood. And because of this, your heart may not be able to pump enough blood to your body and your lungs. Is this something that could kill me? Yes, it can be. Sometimes ventricular tachycardia can cause your heart to stop. So you're telling me that I'm gonna die? Sean, listen to me. This is manageable. You can manage this. You're young enough to make the necessary changes. With a good diet and exercises, routinely having your blood pressure and your cholesterol checked and managed, and by decreasing the stress in your life. It can be a life changer, but it does not have to be a life ender. All you people have ever told me was practice safe sex, practice safe sex. You don't want to catch HIV. And not one time did any of you ever tell me that the thing that I should be worried about the most was already inside of me. I know it doesn't seem like it right now, but you're actually one of the lucky ones because you have time to correct it. Is there someone you can call? You've reached Nicole Reese Davis. I can't talk right now, so leave a message. If you're calling about booking, please call my agent, Spencer Smith. Thank you. You've reached Scott. I'm not able to take your call right now, but if you leave a message, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you. Have a great day. Hey, it's Mia. Sorry, I'm either on another call or I'm busy. Leave a message. Have a great day. <laughs> No. It's just me. Okay, so, you know, let me have it. Tell me the truth. You hated the film. No, 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 no. It was, it was good. It was good. <laughs> David, do not quit your day job because you are a terrible liar. I, don't do I that. mean, look, it's, it's fine. Even though I chose the movie, not everybody likes foreign films. It's fine. Okay. Truth is, mm -hmm. did I like it? <laughs> it was cool. Okay. Would I see it again? Nah. Probably not, <laughs> but I did like watching you enjoy it. Oh, is that so? That is so. 
Well, that is it's good to know. You know, I'm glad that you finally took me up on my offer. I was getting a little complex there thinking that you were avoiding me on purpose. I know, I know. And it's my fault, and I apologize. Mm -hmm. It's just uh, work has been um, kind of crazy lately. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Uh, what is it that you do again? David. 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 Huh? What? what? Uh, you just, you know, you just disappeared there for a second. Is everything okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. Uh, okay. Why do guys do that all the time? Do what? Do that. Do that. They just act like they're fine when things are obviously not fine. We don't know. Yeah, do yeah, you do. No, I, we oh, don't. you know what? Sorry, my phone. Excuse me. I'm gonna take this. Andre, hi. No, 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 it's okay. I, I'm, I'm, are you okay? Yeah, no, I'm just out with a friend. Yes, the friend I told you about. Yes, yes, I will. Thank you. Um, sure. All right, well, as long as you're okay, then I will see you at the meeting tomorrow. Okay. All right. Bye-bye, then. <laughs> oh, Andre, huh? Mm-hmm. He's in my support group. Right. Mm -hmm. And you talk to him about me? I do, actually. It's funny. You two actually remind me of each other. You should come to a meeting and meet him in person. He's a nice guy. So I bet you uh, go see movies with him, too, huh? Uh -huh. He's new to the group, mm -hmm. and his girlfriend passed away, and he needed a friend. Mm -hmm. And obviously, if you were paying any kind of attention, you would recognize that the person I want to go see movies with is sitting right next to me, Dodo. Is that right? Is that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll take that. You. None of this makes you sense. Michael and I were born and raised in that neighborhood. We played in those streets. <laughs> Bought candy at that store as kids. People knew him. They wouldn't kill him like that. I hear you, but things sure aren't like they used to be. I mean, it's getting crazy in D.C. It seems like the crimes are just getting bolder, and the people committing them, they're just getting younger. It happened in the middle of the day, Maurice, okay? And you and I both know how busy that street is that time of morning. But the police said they couldn't find any witnesses? Nancy, people are afraid. No one wants to get involved. That's why my organization, we're working with the police to try to find protection for those people that do want to step up and help out. And what's that going to do? They won't even come forward when there's a reward offered. People don't care unless it's someone that's in their family. Listen, Michael was insane, but he didn't deserve to die like that. No, no one does. And as if that wasn't enough, Mia's out here spreading lies about him. Mia? Yeah, Mia. Sweet, innocent Mia. Well, what is she saying? She's saying that Michael was beating her. Damn. Oh, please, she's lying. Michael would never hit her. But why would Mia lie about something like that? Because she's an intention-seeking bitch, that's why. Look, my brother was a dick. And he could be mean. But he would never do that to her. Mia just doesn't seem like the type of person that would just go around lying. Oh, she's not? <laughs> she knew that Julian was alive and she didn't tell Sean, her best friend. Nancy, but is she... No, no but, okay? Michael was my brother. And I would know if my brother was that type of man. And he wasn't. I never saw any bruises or anything on her. Nancy, there's no way that you could know what you was going even, on in that house. And neither could you. Hell, you didn't even know what was going on in your own house. Didn't your wife shoot you? <laughs> Were you beating her? Nancy, what I'm trying to say is you that... You know what? Forget it. Just forget it. I don't need or want your help. I'm done. Nancy. I'm done.
Brother Ray. Brother Ray is Jennifer. How are you? It's, it's nice here. Brother Ray, I need your help. I'm being blamed for what happened at the church, for something you did. Maurice is divorcing me. People who I thought were my friends aren't returning my calls. Brother Ray, Sean blames me for Julian's death. And you know I didn't know what you were gonna do. I need you to tell them that. I need you to clear my name. My whole life has fallen apart because of something you did. I need you to tell them. Ray, Ray, do you hear me? Ray. Damn it, say something. Madison was right about you. You are a loser. That bomb should have killed you too. You had people thinking that you were defending the word of the Bible. But I know, I know the truth. You didn't have a problem with Sean and Julian being gay. Mm -mm. You were angry because Madison was in love with Julian and you knew it. That's right, wasn't it? <laughs> Julian was the man she wanted. God, it must have made you sick to lie in bed with her every night knowing that she wanted him. Go to hell. And I hope you rot. Well, Cliff, is that? I know damn well that ain't who I think it is. It is. Has he lost his fucking mind? What is he doing with her? It looks like they're on a date. A date? A date? Yeah. How long has this been going on? I don't know. I followed him this morning to her place. They've been hanging out for a couple hours. And then after that, they left and went there. I cannot believe this shit. I can. I told you when you were bringing him in, he was not made for this. You know, Cliff, if I wanted to hear a fucking man tell me I told you so, I wouldn't have killed my husband. Look, he needs to be dealt with. Where is he now? He took her to his place. He took her to his house. Yes, he's playing with fire, and that fire is going to burn all of us. Come on. Where are we going? To put out the flames. Stop playing, man. Like, these people can't be that stupid. Well, they are. I mean, literally, they think that this man is just going to invite himself back up into the White House and become president again. But that is wild. No, that is sadly the world that we are living in. But who would believe a lie like that? Well, you know what? You keep telling yourself the same lie, and eventually you believe it. Huh. What's going on? You just. Disappeared for a second. What are you thinking about? What if, in, in order to not hurt somebody, you have to tell them a lie? I don't know. I just think that 
people are entitled to the truth, no matter how difficult the information is or how hard it is to accept. So why don't you tell me the truth, David? About what? About how much you hated that movie. I mean, I could tell. <laughs> I was like, nah, I, I didn't. It was, it was, I liked it. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Your house is really nice. It's getting there, but it can use a uh, woman's touch. Well, is that the only thing around here that needs a woman's touch? Maybe not. I need to talk to you. Nancy, I've had a real fucked up day today. So unless you have a house for me to list, I don't want to hear it. Well, you're going to hear it. I really hope you're not out here spreading lies about my brother. Girl, ain't nobody thinking about you or your brother. Well, good. Keep it like that. Bitch, let me tell you something. I'm not Mia. I'm not Selena. I will fuck you up out here, okay? You don't run shit over here. Look, she has a voice. And she has fists, too. Look, all I'm saying is, don't have Mia have you out here spreading lies. <sighs> Nancy, go find some business and mind it. You don't get it. None of you get it. What if it was your brother? What if someone was going around saying that he was beating her? Nancy? You and I both know the type of person that Michael was. And if that was my brother, what I would have said to her was, I'm sorry that he did that to you. Or did you forget what he did to me? You shut up, you shut up. That was a long time ago. He changed. It doesn't seem like it. Well, it seems like someone forgot about the agreement they signed and took money for to stay quiet. I wish I hadn't. I wish I hadn't done any of it. And just maybe, Mia wouldn't have gone through it. Well, you did. And just because he's dead, does not mean it's void. Do you like your business? Do you want to keep it? Well, I suggest you remember. You are just like him. Evil hateful. And you better hope the day never comes that those skeletons you have in your closet get drug out. <laughs> oh, sweetie, that closet is locked. And I'm the only one that has the key. <laughs> Keep thinking that. Nancy, I can't keep going through this. I feel like I'm falling apart day by day. This is not good for either of us. I'm seeing things, hearing things. I feel crazy. And my conscience won't let me sleep anymore. Someone knows what we did, and it's only a matter of time before it comes out. We need to go to the police and tell them what happened, that we killed my father.
なるほど。